Roger Hall's Last Legs is billed as a cardio arresting comedy about sex, death and politics, all set in a posh retirement village in Cambridge. Joining us on their opening night, please welcome to the cafe two of the show's stars, Louise Wallace and Alison Quigan. Yes! <laughs> Welcome. Nice to be here. Uh, Louise, let's start with you first. Great to have you both here. Thank you. Um, I've heard it described as shenanigans and skullduggery. Uh, it sounds like a bit of fun. So tell us a little bit about the plot and your character. Well, I think the um, shenanigans is probably describing the, the fact that there's a lot of sex goes on in rest homes. Ooh. Apparently. Okay. That's why Alison often, and I can't I'll... wait to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Not with each other. <laughs> I've often wondered that about a rest home. And um, in terms of skullduggery, um, my character, I play a crooked real estate agent and um, uh, Mark Hadlow is my husband and the two of us have, have got a bit of a history um, in sort of white collar crime. And we are continuing that tradition at the uh, retirement village. <laughs> and was it true that you were a little bit shocked to even be asked to do this? I was, actually. I was thrilled and insulted at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, mainly, th well, totally thrilled, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, um, Roger Hall does make comedy out of our different life changes, doesn't he, Alison? What's your character? My character is Edna. And I'm very active in Forest and Bird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've, already, I've already got your picture, Edna. Absolutely. You've got it, eh? Uh, I think it's a great... He's, he's a wonderful observer of life mm. and of, of, of us as people. Um, yes, yeah, so she is an ex-teacher and she's now retired. She's had cancer and so she's a survivor. Uh, and so, yes, she's unwilling to be in this place and she disapproves of many people who are there. Mm. But the, the story arc is fantastic. You know, like we, we start off with these conservative ideas and then actually we warm up as we as the play goes on so yeah and friendships develop and people that at the beginning of the play you didn't get on with and you look down on by the end you know your um your great mates mm. and uh, did you have to do, this could get really awkward but did you have to do research in terms of you know developing the characters any friends that you oh, <laughs> and family based? oh really oh, my, oh, yes, I mean, my mother was in a in a um well it was more than a retirement village it, you know she was sort of really on her last legs by the time she got there and oh I just, uh, I guess I spent uh, three years going to that place and that was enough for me, I have to say. Right. So you didn't go, any, in, didn't go undercover anywhere to, you know, didn't have to, people, no. essentially? Right. No, you don't need to. With no. a play like this, you, it's, it's frighteningly close. It is, it is. <laughs> it's, it's very true, very lifelike. That's the great thing about Roger. He's, he's just, as Alison said, a fantastic observer. OK, so given that, what have you two learnt about pending retirement? Um, Which is a long way off, can I just say? He knows something we don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you trying to say here, Mark? <laughs> um, I mean, the reality is that, um, you know, this day and age, we are unlikely to retire at the same age as our parents did. Yeah, true. And so we yeah. will continue to work. I mean, certainly as actors, mm. our job is to um, reflect life for people of all ages. And so, of course, I'll be reflecting life right through to when I'm... 80. Mm. Yeah, but I think the other thing is that um, retirement villages are no longer um, like sort of being in prison and that if you've got all your faculties you can go into, it is like a five star hotel, mm. it can be and I would think that um, to go in um, at a fairly advanced age with a lot of your friends um, wouldn't actually be that bad. No. Mm. Right. You want to still be able to use the pool and things. Oh, absolutely. Got the pool yeah, things, that's right. They? And the happy hour and the, and the trips away. And, and there's time for sex. Yes, yes. there is. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah. No one's going to get pregnant, let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that, that, is, that is very true. So do you think people, obviously people of a certain age are going to enjoy this, but do you think young people should come along too to see that? Oh, a, absolutely. It's a warning. Um, yes. It's a warning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it's anybody um, basically with parents and grandparents. Mm. So that's a lot of people. And Roger Hall, I mean, he's just phenomenal, isn't he, with his work? And again, we've got an example of, you know, showing life stages with his works. What, what makes him so successful, do you think? Well, he's been a, a playwright who has chronicled the time for a particular generation that goes right from the 70s when he did Glide Time mm. right through to now. And so he has followed that group of people right through from their early days of working in government departments um, and then bringing up children, having marriages, having divorces mm. and all of that right through to now when those people are retiring. And his writing is how we talk. 
Yeah. You know, it is, it is very true and truthful and captures the New Zealand idiom mm. and our character and it couldn't be said in any other country. Mm. He's had a lot of successes, obviously, but he has had a few flops, which he's actually going to do a special talk about. He We've is. all had yes. flops. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? That's another one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so he does have this um, show that he has got coming up, and I can't remember the day it's on. Uh, on the 24th of September, I think, the one, yeah, the one yes. that got away. The yes. ones that got the away. Yeah. That, got that away, should yes. be fascinating. Yeah, actually. I reckon. I don't yeah. think there's that many that have got away on him, because I, I've done 15 of his shows. 15? Mm. And wow. so, I mean, that's probably only half. Mm. So he's actually done quite a few. Well, this show sounds you. awesome. Mm. It is. It's going to be yeah. really, really um, great fun to see and great fun to do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the great thing about Rogers' plays is that the audience brings a major part to the play. I don't mm. mean that's participation. I just mean that they bring their own experience and their life to it. And so that's when it becomes a comedy. It's oh, it's fantastic. going to be great. I'm looking forward to seeing you dressed as old people, actually, too, both of you. It'll be interested to see how they do that because you're looking amazing. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you for coming Thank you. in. Uh, the Gill Trap Audi season of Last Legs kicks off tonight in Auckland. Then it heads to Turtle and Hamilton. For ticket details, you can go to the Auckland Theatre Company website. One show you should go and see this year. Go on, do it.